last night guys we showed you the the Gee Bravo, I'm just gonna do the Nogi version of it. Again and you can hit this from side control the on belly from half guard. Um, for the sake of the drill, of course it's just gonna be on the side. You usually go for the Bravo when you're perpendicular to the guy. So when we're chest to chest, you're not really gonna get it, but when my chest is perpendicular to cars, okay, he could be from working the side control escape, he could be looking to win this underhook. So um, last night we were showing you how to use the lapel of being into this hand. This time my right hand's gonna come underneath and I'll grip the back of his neck. Like so. yeah. um, I need to be able to lock okay, the Brabo. Let's just say Carl um, has a big neck. Um, Let's just turn around this way. Okay, so he wins the underhook. Okay, let's just say um, when I wizard and I overhook it, Jesus, he is a big guy. Glad you came in tonight, bro. My right hand. Okay, my right hand can't get the grip on the back of the neck, and I need to be able to really lock this brable. So my left hand is going to grip three fingers. Okay. Use this to lock the Brabo. Okay. The next detail is it's just like the Guy Brabo. Okay. I want to maneuver Gary's shoulder and drive it into this jugular, but I can't really do it because his underhook is kind of restricting me. So I'm just going to step over his arm with my leg. So my my right arm or my right knee is going to come over. And I step over. Now I've got it in a really good position, driving down. Okay. Once I've removed that from my, behind my back, it's easier for me to get my grip now. Okay, or if I still can't grip it, I can still play this. The next detail is just the same as um, last night's move, the Gee Bravo. I want to bring my shoulder over the top. My shoulder, okay, which means my head is moving from here over to here. It's only then I grab my bicep, my hand comes up high because it's down low, it might go loose, and then I just put body weight on it. So again, one more time. Um, again, we could be in side control or whatever. And Gary turns on the side to win this underhook position. To try and escape. My right hand comes underneath. Ideally, I want to grab here. If I can't, I get a three finger grip. Okay, and then I lock it down like so. Once I lock it down, I want to step over okay, his arm with my knee. So his arm ends up between my legs. And now it's a lot easier for me to get this grip. Okay. From here, my head is over his head. I want to bring my shoulder over the top. So I'm driving it in like a needle straight. His shoulder's getting pressed right into the jugular here. It's only then that I grab my bicep, I lock it up, and again, I don't want to be squeezing this till a vein pops in my head. I'm just relaxing into it using my natural weight just to pull it up. Okay. If I get to this position here, and I'm here, and I'm really having to squeeze hard and use a lot of upper body strength to get it. I'm just not in the right position. So I need to re-get my grip, bring my shoulder over here. I should theoretically be able to finish it with one hand. Okay, so one more time, I'll just use card again. Get this over there. So again, I get the wizard, I get my grip. Okay, once I lock it off, I'm stepping over with this leg to get his arm in between the legs. Now I'm in a position to use my shoulder to smash it down. And then I get my grip and then I Okay, so that's your new e guys. Let's try